back with you uh, this morning we're taking a look at saint lucy because it appears that some kind of gentrification is taking place up there in saint lucy and um the residents as well are complaining if you look on the screen there you're seeing tap water it's really dirty this this is i mean you can't be paying for this really so the residents have been crying out uh, for clean water uh, last week you saw this as well in the Barbados today where a gentleman was holding up his swimming trunks and that was basically from the water. That's how it stained it. That's how black, brown, whatever you want to call it, the water is. So BWA has to clean the water if they want more money because the residents are saying, look, we can't be paying money for this. And I agree with them. But the reason why I say some kind of gentrification is taking place up in St. Lucie, you're going to have to let me know. You can leave your comments in the section below. Something's going on up there because if you look at all these developments that's taken place there, tender for construction at St. Lucie, Siesta Moon, Town St. Lucie, and all these are development comprising apartments and um, residential development. And then if you go even further, you're seeing Bishop Heights, uh, 6.14 acres of prime development land, and you see the Rockfield development. All this is taking place in St. Lucie. So you wonder what's really happening up there. It's almost as if it's almost as if, look, we're getting out these residents that we could have a different quality of people moving into the area because the area is maybe too, it looks too good for a certain class of people. I don't know, but you're going to have to let me know in the comment section below what's taking place up there with the water, how long this has been going on. Because if you go to the newspapers in Barbados, this seemed to have been going on for a while. Let's take a look at this one where they said that the BWA was talking about agent pipes. BWA agent pipes headaches. Now, as consumers in Barbados continue to cry out for adequate supplies of drinking water in a country where the precious commodity is scarce, authorities are now faced with an alarming increase in the number of births, mains, and pipes. And according to the general manager of Barbados Water Authority, Keith Roy Halliday, this predicament is costing the government many millions as it seeks to repair and replace the damage lines with support from a variety of funding agencies. So they have been having an ongoing problem for a number of years, apparently. Alda said the aged mains and pipes are rupturing so often that the annual number of damaged pipes rose from an average of 9,600 four years ago to 19,200 now. This this article, I think, was from 2021 or 2022, you know. So they're having a serious problem with pipes and aging pipes in Barbados. And it has gone so far that um, the residents of St. Lucie are now crying out. If you go to this article again, in the Barbados today, it says H pipe silt reason for brown water in St. Lucie, says BWA officials. Now, a buildup of silt responsible for the brown colored water coming out of taps in St. Lucie. Water quality specialist at the Barbados Water Authority, Alex Ifill, gave the explanation during a parish speaks town hall meeting at. Darrell Jordan Secondary School in St. Lucie was responding to complaints from residents of the northernmost parish that occasionally, over the last several months, their water supply had been brown. I feel said the reason for this was multi-layered but stemmed from the H pipe across the parish. So this has been going on for a while. It has been going on for a while. At Alden, over the past few years, we have noticed a siltation, the natural process, but usually takes 30 to 40 years for a significant amount of silt to accumulate. In the past few years, with a constant change in rainfall, these things have a seek to accelerate the siltation at Allendale. Now, so this has been going on for a while. The question is, why haven't the government been looking into it? Uh, based on what the residents are saying, it's almost like a complete rejection. If you listen to the story, if you listen to the story coming out of St. Lucie with the resident where he was talking about it, I mean, it's just absolutely disgusting. St. Lucie residents demand compensation for brown water from tap. Residents in St. Lucie are calling for reduction in their water bills or a complete wave as they continue to experience worsening water quality. Remember what I just read to you? That's from 2021, I think, you know, this is 2024. Discolored water, which has plagued the parish for weeks, leading to a rare boil water advisory, has led to public outcry with many questioning why should they pay regular rates for substandard water. And actually, you should agree with these people, and the whole of Barbados should agree with these people, and the residents of St. Lucie must now take a serious stand because you cannot be paying for something that's substandard. It has responded to the problem by increasing chlorination, but residents argue that the water quality remains unacceptable. 
Many are calling for relief, with some stating that decades of poor water service have reached unbearable levels in recent weeks. And this is why I said that the article went back. It wasn't 2021, it was actually 2019. So they have been going through this for decades of poor water service, and it has reached an unbearable level in recent weeks. They have to protest. They have to not pay bills. They have to really get out there and let BWA know, let the government know that this is just unacceptable. This has been going on for years, decades, actually. Cheryl Smith, a resident of Collis Cave, said that sewage tax should be off ever since the water rate itself should be reduced. It's not fair to people. I came to Barbados in 1974. I was born in England, and the water we have now is far way worse. The water at the time was excellent. What is happening? What is the reason why we're not progressing? Other residents echoed Smith's concern at a village shop. Crab Hill resident Haha -ha Graham argued that the water bills should reflect the poor quality of service, and I agree completely. We should not be paying for nothing. If you pay for a service, you should be paying for quality, and too much chlorine is not good. It can poison you. That is why we have to boil it, Graham said, and that is a fact. That is something I noticed in the Caribbean. We get poor quality service. We continue paying for it. We're not standing up. We're not saying anything. We're just accepting it. And it's time that we change because it appears to me that something is going on up in St. Lucie. It's not only the pipes. It looks like some sort of gentrification is taking place where uh, a certain kind of people want to come in and to get rid of those in or to move them because they may soon say, look, well, we can't deal with this pipe water issue, you know, it's getting out of hand. It looks like we may have to start to just, you know, shift it to a different area while we sort out this problem because it may be long term. While these people are doing developments for certain people, you have to watch that. Eh? You have to watch that. The residents up in St. Lucie must watch that. Fellow bar patron David Solcom, who lives in Archers Bay, criticized the BWA for leaving unfinished pipe work in the community for over a year. Waterworks men come down here and start working, leave down here, which has bad water, and gone somewhere else. They came from early last year and left about a month now. This is what I'm saying to you. Something is going on. And you may very well hear that they're telling you this can't be solved. We have a problem. We may have to move it to another location, maybe in a different parish or somewhere else, because this water system is not getting any better. While a lot of development are taking place for kind of a quality people. So you have to look at that. You have to look at that. Flocum lamented that residents are still being charged despite the ongoing issues, including paying a sewage tax without having a sewage system in place. This is disgusting. The only sewage we have is the water we are drinking. He quipped before expressing doubts about whether connecting to the new lines would improve the situation. So that is a problem that the residents in St. Lucia are having. It's an ongoing problem. It needs to be dealt with. Dirty water is no joke. You have to be very careful. But the people of St. Lucia will have to make a stand and to let the government know that this is unacceptable anyhow you look at it and it must be dealt with in the quickest manner leave your comments in the section below message me with the number if you have any information that you want me to look at and also just going to let you know on thursday we're going to have let's talk barbados because i believe that there's a lot of talk program all over the place but you're not getting sufficient time to express your concerns people may give you two and three minutes but this is one where you can express your your um Opinions for a very long time. Take your time. Discuss what you have to discuss. We start at 7.30 on Thursday night. So look out for that on this channel. All right. So subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Take it easy.